Hey what's going on guys, you're watching FBHD Tech and today we will make a custom QR code which will subscribe you to PewDiePie when you scan it. This procedure can be applied for making any custom QR code in Photoshop, but in this video I'm doing my part. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to make a custom QR code, we first need to generate a normal QR code. For this we can use the site called QR Code Monkey. Here we can specify the URL that will be opened when you scan the code, in this case the subscribe page of PewDiePie's YouTube channel. Below we can select the quality, so we are going to bump it up. Next we are going to select a generic logo just to serve as a placeholder because we are going to edit that later in Photoshop. This site also offers to customize the look of the QR code, so you can personalize it a little. Finally, we can click the Create QR Code button and download it as an SVG file. Now that it's downloaded, we are going to put the file in a folder for convenience and then open up Photoshop. To open the file, we are just going to drag it into Photoshop and it will automatically load it. First thing that we are going to do is replace the YouTube logo with our own one, in this case with the Brofist. To do this we select the magic wand tool and then click on the YouTube logo and delete it. Using the paint bucket tool we can make the background white. Now that this is done we can grab the image and just drop it into Photoshop. Again, using the magic wand tool, we can select the background of the image and then right click and go select inverse to select the logo and then copy it onto a new layer by pressing ctrl C and then ctrl V. We can delete the previous layer and rename the new layer to keep everything organized. Finally, we can adjust the logo and make it a little bit bigger. The next step is to change the color of the QR code to match the logo color and this is done by adding the color overlay effect. Here we need to select lighten in order to only affect the black color with this overlay. To choose the color we can click on it and then use the eyedropper tool to select the color of the logo. For the next step, to make the QR code more personalized, we are also going to change the alignment objects, which are the three rounded squares to be in the shape of a bro fist. Here we need to be careful to keep it the same size and approximately the same shape in order for the QR scanner to recognize it. This means that if we deviate too far from the size and shape, the QR code will not be scannable. We can drag a new image into Photoshop and we can use the magic wand tool to select the outline of the bro fist and again copy it onto a new layer by pressing Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Delete the old layer and rename the new one to keep track of the layers. Now, as you can see, the colors do not match so we are going to use the color overlay effect but this time we will select normal because only the outline is on this layer. This is now the tricky part where we carefully need to align the shape to the square in order to ensure that it's still recognizable by QR scanners. The best thing to do is to change them all and then when you're done use your phone to ensure that the QR code can still be scanned. If this is not the case, then go back and try to adjust the shape to better fit the square. In order to remove the squares, we can use the magic wand tool and select them and then use the paint bucket tool to paint them white. After this is done, we can select the whole white area of the QR code and then paint it white to remove some residues that were left. The final thing we are going to do is apply a pattern to the whole QR code. In this case I am using the PewDiePie's famous chair pattern. This image can just be dragged into Photoshop and then we can resize it to make the pattern the size we want. Now as you can see, the image is too small so to cover the whole QR code we can duplicate the image until the whole QR code is covered. Now that the whole QR code is covered, we can select all those pattern layers and then go to the overlay dropdown and in this case select saturation. And that's it! 
We made a custom QR code that can be scanned without a problem. The whole process isn't that difficult and in my opinion it really looks great. If you aren't already subscribed to PewDiePie, scan this code over here in order to subscribe to him. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi and subscribe to my channel for more tech videos and also hit that bell icon in order to be notified when I upload future videos.